This is top secret. Do not use this for unnecessary harm. You have been warned. Welcome you absolute legends, I am Phil Fraser, I am Pete, I am back. And as the intro said, these are my summer secret weapons to be used for good, not for evil. So there's always, there's 10 here that I think kind of slightly under the radar, kind of use them when you want to try and do something a little bit more uh, different for your life and these will work in most situations in summer. Um, I've got some design, I've got some niche, I've got some cheapies and I've got a bit of a hybrid clone. So as always, we're going to crack on in at number 10. Alright, we're kicking things off at number 10 and this one is came out in 2012 and it kind of came, kind of went, no one talks about this fragrance anymore. I've not seen anyone talk about this in absolute ions. It's CH Men Sport. This one, kind of the ugly runt of the whole CH line, but in the summer, this is an absolute quality secret weapon because no one will wear it, so it's still here. It's probably been discontinued, but it's still available. So, and it's a reasonable price. So this is about 100 mil for about 35 quid. You can find it most places. So it's got grapefruit, some sage, um, juniper, sea notes, and sandalwood, and it does smell very good. It smells very clean, very professional. You can wear this. You can dress this up, dress it down, which is fantastic. It's a versatile little weapon, and trust me, you're never gonna smell bad wearing this, I promise you now. Doesn't get any hype, doesn't get any love, but use it wisely, it is a secret weapon. Number nine. Okay, coming at number nine, this one came out in 2017, and again, this is from a house that pretty much everyone craps on, and I love it, because it means I get to use this, it's dabbed off cool water wave. I have had a good old dent into my 100 ml bowl, but it smells so good. Summertime, this one works absolutely fantastically well. So it's C notes yet again. Szechuan pepper, which gives it a little spicy. It's not too over spicy. It's more freshness than anything else. Juniper and some birch leaf. A great little number, under 20 quid for 100 ml. I will tell you now, this is competitive with all the rest of these. But it's, like I say, if you're on a budget and you want to smell really good this summer, down off cool water, wave, is definitely a secret weapon you can deploy this summer. All right, coming in at number eight, or number eight, sorry. And again, this is a house that really, no one talks about this one anymore. And they talk about the original one for good reason, but this one, Dunhill Icon Elite. Now this is a little darker fragrance. Now I will say this, if you do wear this, you are definitely going to stand out. It's definitely a secret weapon. It's got some cardamom, bitter orange, lime, vetiver. It is an absolute gem. The bottle is fantastic. It's so heavy. Not quite a magnetic cap. It does slip up into place. All I'm going to say is that wear this with caution because this will garner attention regardless of how you think about it. The, the original Icon is a fantastic fragrance, but this one, kind of an unsung hero in my books. Deploy this with the re fair regards to everyone else, because you will blow them all out of the water. So there you go. All right, coming in number seven. This is an absolute, ridiculously hardcore secret weapon to deploy if you really want to make some head waves. From the house of Tom Ford. It is Lost Cherry. Now you can go for the clones. The clones are very good. Um, Lovely Sherry um, from Mason Alhambra is very good. I've got that. But I'm going with the OG that started the architect of all this. But my God, this is a, a richer version. The a Mason Alhambra is a little bit lighter. So if you want to go a little bit lighter, completely fine. Just remember it is getting discontinued and this one isn't. But this has got some beautiful bitter orange, beautiful cherry note. It's black cherry, Turkish rose, some plum. 
It's got everything you want. I guarantee you this will turn heads. No questions asked. It's so seductive. It should be arrested at this point for being as good as it is. Don't snooze on this one. From Tom Ford, my number seven, Lost Cherry. All right, just missing out on the top five place. And this came out in 2005. And again, no one on YouTube is talking about this fragrance. And I don't know why. It's a beautiful fragrance from the House of Germain. It's Pomegranate Noir Cologne. Oh yeah, pomegranate straight away. But it's also got this beautiful tartness from rhubarb, which again, rhubarb and the pomegranate work really well together. Pink pepper, garlic wood, and some jasmine, and this smells awesome. It's fruity, it's fresh, it smells delicious. I will tell you now, no one on their right mind is wearing this. It is so under the radar. It's a beautiful secret weapon you can deploy whenever you like. The only downside is that it's a little bit more expensive, but if you want to smell unique and amazing, this one will definitely get the job done. German Lone, Pomegranate Noir, Cologne. All right, going at number five, and this is a cheapy, absolute gem. Came out in 2018. For House of Bentley, it's Momentum Unlimited, and I'll tell you now, that juice color ain't messing with anyone. This is a stunning juice. If you want to smell really another level of sophistication, but on about 30 quid, this is it. Green apple, grapefruit, cardamom, cedar, and some vetiver. It smells classy, it smells awesome. Again, you can dress this up and dress it down. It's a fantastic fragrance. Smells very elegant. Nothing here is going to offend anyone. And for 30 quid, and the bottle looks beautiful as well, this is one of the best hidden gems you've got. So number five, Bentley Momentum Unlimited. All right, coming at number four. Now this one is the hybrid clone. And now I'll say hybrid is a combination of three different fragrances in my head and it's come from the house of Latafa. This is under 20 quid for 100 ml. Cade Al Forson. I don't know how well, that's quite right. The bottle looks absolutely beautiful but this is a hybrid of three for me. It's got a bit of Blue de Chanel, a bit of Dior Sauvage and a bit of Invictus uh, from Paco Rabanne. But it's all about pineapple in this one. Very nice. Women can pull this one as well which is really quite nice. But saffron, jasmine, balsam fir, and some oud. It's not heavy on the oud. Don't get this into your head that it's going to be really heavy and really dark. No, it's quite the opposite. It's just as a background note, supporting the fruitiness at the top. Very good long lasting fragrance. Really underrated. Pick this up for under 20 quid. You'll thank me later for how good this smells. So for number four, it's Kaid Al Fusun by Le Tafa. All right, the big three now. Number three, wear with extreme caution. I'm not joking you. From the house of Montal, this lasts absolutely hours. Intense cafe. This could definitely should be locked up with at least half a dozen security guards for being as good as it is. But it's all about the coffee for me, and it's a little bit of sweet coffee fragrance it's also got some white musks in there vanilla a bit of rose so underrated and if you really want to make a statement you can't go wrong with montal intense cafe i promise you now if you're a guy if you're under 25 you probably won't go for this over 25 and you've had a little bit of a life experience maybe try this one out the bottles are awful, I will not lie, they are hideous, I hate them. But the juice inside, it's another level. This one is an amazing fragrance. I say wear with a lot of caution, because you will get a lot of attention with this one. For number three, Montal Intense Cafe. All right, just missing out on a top spot, and I haven't worn this for a while, and I wore this the other day, and it got me a ton of attention, and I was surprised at this. Um, there is a new reformulation of this one, so that this one is getting discontinued, but it's still available right now. It's from Yves Saint Laurent, it's white, it's the EDT 2017 edition. 
This one, oh yeah. Amazing atomizer on this one. But it's all about like ginger and it's got aldehydes, mint, pineapple, musk, and a little touch of incense on this. Why EDP gets all the attention. But this one, like it's almost like the runt of the family. But the architects were right with this one. The DNA works really well. Get if you want to get a 2022 batch, fine. But 2017 is just as good. I mean, I've not tried the new 2022 version, but this to me smells amazing, works amazing. Absolutely going to get you a load of compliments. Underrated. Shame it was been reformed it, but like I say, I've not tried the new one. So what? If on why EDT 2017, which leads me to number one. And number one is so devastatingly good. It's, it really needs to be an Alcatraz. To be honest, it's that good. And it came out last year, and from the house of Mancera. It is fabulous use. I have had a damn good hit of mine, if you can see how much I love this. Imagine the most scrumptious lemon meringue pie on your skin. That's what this gives you. It is an amazing fragrance. Again, please wear with caution, it's that good. But it's got yuzu, lemon, cinnamon in it, uh, mandarin orange, and some vanilla. Beautiful fragrance, lasts hours on my skin. The projection on this is phenomenal, but you expect it over Mansara. Mansara does not cut corners with the, their fragrances. Again, you get a 120ml bottle. This one is always a good deploy. If you really want to make a statement, this does it in the best possible way. So my number one, Mansara, fabulous Yuzu. Right, so there you have it, 10 secret weapons you can deploy at any time on anyone if you really want to make an impression all these will make an impression for you as always in the comments what are your secret weapons that you like to deploy that gives you a maximum return on investment always love to hear from you as always my scent of the day can I go with a discontinued gem but I've got two bottles this is the Invictus Aqua 2018 stunning juice shame it's gone but like I say two bottles of this really works well in this time of year as always um, if you want a top 10 list, a fragrance review, or a question, please hit me up in the comments. Love hearing from you guys. Thank you so much. As always, I'm on Instagram with fun with fragrances. And as always, you absolute legends smell amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.